Hello, Stuart from Rider Cycle Centre and welcome to this uh, roller training session. So this is our basic leg speed session. Now I say basic because there isn't a lot of complicated drills, but what there is, is some prolonged periods of high RPM. So even though it's, as a, it's described as a basic leg speed session, this is gonna be a bit of a toughie. So you wanna make sure you've got a couple of things ready. Make sure you've got some water, because uh, you could get a little bit sweaty. Okay, you might get a little bit parched and I have a sweat cloth as well, tucked up my back. So, uh, okay, so just make sure you've got a few things ready. Um, let's get on board, let's click go, and let's do a 10 minute warm up. Now, this is slightly different to some of our other sessions. We've got a bit of a lengthy warm up, so it's 10 minutes, okay? So, let's crack on. Okay, I hope some of you have, have mastered the art now of getting on your rollers without having to lean on anything. Here we are. Okay guys, we've got a 10 minute warm up, okay? So select a nice gear, a midway, and, midway down the block on the back. And we want to warm up at around about 85 to 90 RPM. But let's just spend the next couple of minutes just getting up to that RPM, okay? Good. So I hope you've got some music playing. Um, even though we've got a 10 minute warm up, 10 minute warm down, we are going to have at least half an hour of high intensity workout, okay? So I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying these roller sessions. Okay, as you probably, um, you've taken a look at the description. Uh, in this 10 minute of, 10 minute warm up, we are gonna do three 30 second sprints, okay? Just to get that heart rate up and get those legs warmed up. So we're gonna do a 30 second sprint every two and a half minutes. Okay. So we've got eight minutes to go. We drop down to seven and a half minutes. We're gonna do a 30 seconds high RPM guys. Okay, nice and fast. I'm gonna stay in the same gear. But I'm really going to up the RPMs for 30 seconds, all right? Once that's done, we just drop back down to our, our warm-up speed. Good. Here we go. Three, two, one. Just pick up the RPMs. Nice and fast. Good, keep it going. 10 more seconds. And relax, good. Drop our RPMs to about 85 to 90. And we'll do another 30 second sprint at the five minute mark. Okay guys, as you probably know, it's a few regulars, you obviously know about the setup on the screen, but any newbies, um, obviously I've got myself plugged into Zwift, just so you've got something to look at, not just me for the next half an hour, but obviously you can see in the white box our workout timetable. So we said we've got uh, just over six minutes of this warm up to do, and of course I'll be chatting to you uh, throughout, the, throughout the whole session just to let you know when things are about to change, okay? So you can concentrate on looking at your head unit, concentrating at your RPMs, all right? 
And of course I got myself plugged in with a heart rate monitor. So you can actually see how, how hard I'm working as well. Because I'm doing this session with you. Obviously please ignore the watts and the speed. And that's not what we're working on. We're working on RPMs as you know. Good. Right, a few seconds to go, 10 seconds to go, and we'll do another 30 second sprint. And off you go. Just picking up the RPMs. Good. Three, two, one, and back it down to about 85, 90 RPM. Good. Okay, got one little sprint to go. And then we're building up to our first cycle. So we are going to be, uh, we are going to be doing a, a prolonged five minutes at 115 RPM. Now that's quite a fast RPM, okay? So I know I can hold, hopefully get close to 115, but I want to make sure I'm pedaling at an RPM that's, that is testing me, okay? Remember, I want to keep my form. I want to keep my pedal technique. I want to try and stay as fluid as I can on my rollers. If I find that the RPMs are just really beyond my physical capabilities, just drop it down a bit, but try and go at your max, okay? Now I'm going to click down the cassette just to give me a bit more resistance to work against on the rollers, all right? Okay, we got We've got about seven seconds to go, and we'll just do our next little sprint for 30 seconds. Okay, and off we go. Just pick up the RPM. Good. There we go, 15 seconds to go. Five seconds to go, three, two, one, and just drop it down. Okay, so I'm just gonna get myself prepped for this first cycle. So five minutes at as close as 115 as I can. And then dropping it down five minutes at 90 RPM. And we're gonna do that three times, guys and there's no rest in between each cycle, okay? So this is gonna be a toughie. Half an hour of fast RPM. So make sure you've got that music on. Make sure you've got something to pedal to. Okay? Great. All right, get yourself pumped, get yourself ready. Okay, this is gonna be a really, really good session. You're gonna concentrate on that form Concentrate on the rollers. This half an hour is going to go quick. Right, we've got one half minutes to go. Okay. Not long to go now. Okay, my heart rate's up to 130. We've got just under a minute to go. 
Okay, when we start, just build up to your max RPM. Don't just sprint off the block as soon as you can. Just take a few seconds to build up to your 110, 115 RPM, okay? Good. Now I'm going to try this on the drops today and see how this feels. Good. 21 seconds to go, 20 seconds to go. I wish I had some music playing. 10 seconds to go guys. Let's go guys and girls. You ready? And off we go. Five minutes. Let's get up to speed. There we are. Good. Keep it up guys, keep it up. I got a feeling I won't be talking as much through this one. <laughs> Good, that's your first minute. There might be is lots of puffing and panting. Yep, working hard. Well done guys and girls, keep it up, keep working hard. Okay, I'm staying roughly around about 110. This is the speed I feel I can sustain for the full five minutes. I think if I go any faster, I'm really going to suffer with them, with the, my pedal efficiency. Two minutes to go. Heart rate's up to 155, so I'm working hard. Keep it up, guys and girls. Lovely. Minute to go, guys and girls, 60 seconds.
Okay, 20 seconds to go, and then we'll drop down to 90 RPM for five minutes. Almost done. 10 to go. Concentrate, concentrate. Right to the end. And back off. I'm going to go up into the tops now. And 90 RPM. Good. We can all almost call this an active recovery. Still doing 90 RPM, which is probably a lot faster than most people do on the road anyway. I'm in my same gear. I haven't changed. I'm comfortable with that. If you are interested, I'm in my 50 in the front. I've got an 1128, 11 speed at the back. And I'm on the third cog from the bottom. Good. Let's grab a little drink of water. Well, I hope that's something maybe you've been practicing. I don't know if you've got your water next to you on a table or a chair, but having it actually in your bike and reaching down, again, one of those skills you need to learn really, out on the road. You want to confidently take one hand off the handlebar, reach down for your water bottle, drink it and put it back without swerving all over the place. So another, another great skill that you learn whilst on rollers. Good. Ninety RPM, guys. We've got two and a half minutes to go, and then we'll be straight into the second cycle. One hundred and fifteen RPM for five minutes. Well, as I said before, as close as you can comfortably get to one hundred and fifteen. Okay. Now in that previous set, I could feel that 115 was just beyond my physical capabilities. And that would have been really messy. And I really want to keep my form. So I just dropped it down, I felt good at 110. Now the more we do this session, the more the muscles are going to acclimatize to these high RPMs. And as time goes by, more and more training, very soon I will be able to hold 115. And maybe in the future, with regular training on the rollers, I can get up to 120. That's what I want to aspire to. Good. One and a half minutes to go. Okay, we've got a minute to go. So hold those 90 RPMs for 60 more seconds. Grab that drink of water if you need it, just before we start the next session. We really don't want to have to be slowing down to drink water through this high RPM session, okay? These 90 RPMs, almost like an active recovery in between the fast RPM cycles. All right. Okay, 30 seconds to go.
Okay, gradually build up the speed, build up the RPMs, and off we go. Good, keep it going guys, well done. Five minutes guys, let's go. Let's work really hard. Let's concentrate on our pedal technique. Just visualize your legs going around in a lovely smooth motion. No stomping on the pedals. A lovely fluid pedal technique. Good. Really control your, your leg speed with your core. Concentrate on the leg rotation. Concentrate on the pedals. Visualize your technique and try and make it as fluid and smooth as possible. Remember, we don't pull up on pedals, we really don't. I hear a lot of people say, well, you can pull up as well as push down. I think it's only on the most severe of climbs would you even push up, pull up, sorry. It's all about trying to engage the downstroke as soon as we can and trying to pull it through. Imagine it like the clock of a face. I'm pushing down hopefully from the one, two o'clock position and I'm just trying to carry that through to maybe the five, six o'clock and even seven if possible. And that gives the other foot a quicker chance of coming around and it doing the same. Good. Well done. Okay, just under two minutes to go. Lovely. I wonder how many of you have parabolic trainers and how many of you have just normal flat rollers. I've just changed to some new Kreitler Rub rollers with a aluminium drums and the drums are dead flat. So I have to concentrate even more to stay central. With my previous parabolic rollers, which are, have concave drums, it can almost self-right you and steer you back into the middle. But I have to concentrate even more. So I'm improving my bike handling skills, my reactions. They're all getting a good workout as well. And it's definitely making these five minutes go quick. Got to make sure though, with this multitasking, I don't slip up. I don't want to have to re-record this session. Good. 10 seconds to go.
three, two, one, and there we go. Good. Down to 90. Good, okay, active recovery, 90 RPM, five minutes. Well, let's reach down with my left hand now. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that was a good session for me. I got my heart rate up to close to 160. Now, considering I'm 48, so my max heart rate is 172. So if you didn't know your max heart rate, one of the ways of calculating it is you take the figure 220 and you minus your age. And that gives a rough estimate of your max heart rate. Okay? It's not 100% accurate, but it's a good baseline. So based on the max heart rate of 172, you can see I'm kind of training in the higher zones. So I'm getting a very good CV workout here, exercising that heart. Not quite out of breath. I can still talk. I'm getting a good workout. Okay guys, we're over halfway through our sessions. All right, we've got three minutes to go at this kind of resting recovery speed of 90 RPM and then we do our last cycle our last five minutes at 115 RPM so how are you feeling uh, how was that last set uh, could you feel certain muscle parts starting to ache burn did you find you had to concentrate on a specific part? It'd be interesting to know. Now, do leave a comment below. It's always great to hear people's opinions and experiences, because quite often, what you're experiencing, there could be many other people experiencing exactly the same thing, and to share that is great. Okay, two minutes to go. It's going a bit too fast there, just drop it down. The heart rate's dropped about 20 beats. But still working hard. Good. Well done. What songs do you listen to now, guys and girls? Listen to a bit of pop music, a little bit of dance, metal, indie, jazz, classical, blues. What are you listening to? I've got to say, I do like a little bit of trance music when I'm uh, doing rollers. It's that rhythmic beat, beat, beat. Every now and again, you can get a song that you can really pedal to. A high RPM, a higher beat song. Problem is though, if I play music in the workshop, record it, upload it to YouTube, I quite often get a copyright warning. So uh, there's no music in the shop. Right guys, 30 seconds to go. Okay. So this is our last cycle. Five minutes at 115 RPM, five minutes at 90 and then I'll warm down. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Make this really good, guys, really good. Let's concentrate hard. 
three, two, one. Great, build up, build up, and off you go. Good. I'm going to concentrate hard on my RPMs on this set. I don't want to drop down below 110. Good. There's 115 there. Okay, just dropping down below, so I'm just kicking a little bit. Come on, Stewie, hold it. So heart rate's gone up to 165. I'm trying to stay as close as I can to 115. Just finding it slightly hard. I can really feel it in my calf muscles now. That's two minutes gone. It's not good when you watch, watch the clock. It goes slow. Got to concentrate on my RPMs. There we go, keep it at 115. Stuart, come on. Well, I'm definitely leaking now. I've got a real good sweat on. Heart rate at 165. Okay, I had to concentrate on my foot then, both feet. Concentrating on the five, six o'clock position of the pedal stroke. Good. Just trying to push it through that. Maybe try and get it down to the seven. But concentrating on both legs. My chocolate foot is my right foot. That's my favorite. So I've got to make sure I'm concentrating on both pedal strokes. Oh, there's a lot of things to do. Good. All right, time to shut up for a second and concentrate on my RPMs. I want them at 115 if I can. Okay, it's definitely getting hard for me now. How's it for you? Good. If this is easy for you, let's get up to 120 then. Come on, work hard. Get the max out of this session as you can. Good. Heart rate's gone up again. A few extra beats. I got 60 seconds left. So come on, Stuart. Oh, up to 120 there. Oh, I can feel that in my hamstrings, in the top of my calf muscles, top of my quads as well. I'm really having to concentrate hard here. It's got up to 170 beats per minute. Just under 30 seconds to go. Lovely. Come on, Stuart. 15 seconds to go. Come on. Oh, 
172 beats per minute and slow down to 90 RPM. Wow. Whew. Right. It's active recovery, so no slacking off. Let's stay at 90 RPM. Let's get the heart rate down a little bit. So at least I can talk. Well done, everybody. Really well done. That was excellent. I hope that was good. How does that feel? Okay. Good. Nice deep breaths. 90 RPM active recovery. I'm just making these words up, guys. I'm not a coach. I imagine there's some specific word for this, but I'm just not going as fast as I was in the previous five minutes. But I'm definitely not going slow. So for me, this is an active recovery. Good. 90 RPM. Lovely. Maybe now it's a good time to assess how that was. You've done your th three five-minute sessions of intense spin. How does that feel? Did you feel you got the most out of it? Okay, I'll give you my, my example. I've got to say the first session, I struggled to stay comfortably over 110 RPM. I thought anything faster, I was losing my form. And I've got to say the legs felt tired quite quickly. The second set, 115, I've got to say felt slightly easier. It wasn't easy as in the, the workout. I just felt I could stay over 110 RPM a little, with a little bit less effort required. It's still hard work. For the third set, I've got to say I did concentrate far more on my RPMs. I imagine with looking at the screen and chatting to you guys, uh, my concentration could be taken away. But the more I looked at my RPMs, I felt, and I'm hoping the stats will show, that I stayed a lot, lot closer to 115. And I know for the last minute or so, I was almost close to 120 RPM. And I felt I was in control of the entire five minutes, so I'm really pleased with that. So I definitely didn't wane. In fact, I, I think I finished stronger. It would be interesting to add on a, a fourth set to that. But hey, three's enough for the moment. I say this is the basic leg speed session. All right, guys. We've got a minute and 40 to go at 90 RPM. Good. So heart rate's now down to 145. Good. One minute to go, guys and girls. Well done. Really well done. Okay guys, we've got a 10 minute warm down coming up. Okay, 10 minute warm down. So we're gonna stay around about 80 RPM, but maybe just show, shift up a couple of gears on the back, okay? So you've got kind of minimal resistance on the pedals. All right, so 
I've been on the third cog from the bottom since the start. I'm going to shift up a couple of gears now. So one, two. Okay, I'm dropping my RPMs. Now the resistance has definitely just reduced on the pedals. My wheel speed has slowed down. So my Zwift avatar is maybe not going so fast. I'm just having to concentrate a bit more on the balance. Because as you regular riders will, will know, when you're pedaling at a really fast speed, the centrifugal forces will keep you a bit more balanced. Unless you ride North Shore, then you have to ride very slow along very skinny things. Hey, hey UK bike skills. <laughs> Right. Okay, I'm just getting out the saddle slightly just to relieve a bit of pressure. I don't have my usual saddle on this bike. I'm still running an old saddle which is not as comfortable as my other saddles, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so. Just during our warm down, as you can see, I've got myself plugged into Zwift. Uh, you could also do that. Um, I'm going to put a little video up on our Ro Riders Rollers Facebook page. It's a short couple of minute video just showing you the setup that I've got and the equipment that I use. Um, as I say, I've got Zwift playing in the background and also I'm doing a ride. So when we finish this, I'm, also, I'm going to quit Zwift and I'll be able to see my stats for my workout because of course Swift is going to be recording my cadence it will record my heart rate throughout the session and of course I'm going to have data such as distance and time so it'll be interesting just to see what my heart rate is throughout that session see what zone I'm in and again that's taken off the stats that you input into your profile on Zwift so not only have I had a really good leg workout, pushing my legs at really, really high speeds with, with minimal resistance. So your legs are getting used to having to pedal at high RPMs, which will be so useful when you're out on the road, when you're out training, when you're possibly doing crit races or racing. Your legs feeling comfortable at riding at high RPMs, maybe to chase the bunch or keep the wheel. And of course, that pedal efficiency for that, for that duration. These are things that are really going to benefit you incredibly when you go out on the road. And that's why rollers are so good for beginners, is it can iron out potential bad habits that you pick up from riding on the road, or maybe going on turbos, which are obviously incredibly fashionable nowadays. But spending some time on rollers is invaluable, especially at a young age, for beginners, but also for you regular riders. Bung in a couple of roller sessions every week. They don't have to be long. Supplement that with your turbo work and you're going to get a really good rounding training program. Good. So now it's time to put, out the, put, in the, put on the chill out music, eh? Right, just one thing to remember, um, if you want to use Zwift, uh, you don't necessarily have to use expensive smart turbos. Um, to get the most out of Zwift, and if, it's somebody, if, you, if somebody wants to race or participate in some, some of the many, many structured training ride, group rides or programs, then of course Zwift and its power meters and, and wattage and your watts per kilogram, your FTP test. To get the best out of that, of course, you do need a smart trainer. But Zwift also can just be something very enjoyable to, to ride on and ride with if you want to do your an own little session. So even though on a set of rollers, I'm not getting a realistic watt measurement compared to a smart trainer, I can still ride on Zwift and I can do my own rides and training sessions. 
So don't, you don't always need a smart trainer. You just need your bike, your rollers, a speed and cadence sensor, and your head unit, which could either be a Garmin, a Lazion, a Wahoo, or any other make. Pair that into Zwift. And again, if you go to the Zwift's YouTube channel, go to uh, Shane Miller, GP Llama. He knows a lot of things about Zwift. There's lots of videos to show you how to pair your, your sensors into Zwift and you can get onto Zwift and you can ride. How long we got? We've got four and a bit minutes to go. So again, during this warm down, I'm, uh, I'm staying about in the high 80 RPM. But what I've done is I've just changed up the block at the back a few gears just to take the resistance off the pedals slightly. So I'm just spinning my legs nice and freely. That means I've just reduced the rotating speed of the wheel, which just requires a little bit more balance from myself. Good. Oh, the sun is setting in London. Okay, three minutes to go. So what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, obviously when we're finished, you can feel free to sign off. But what I am going to do is just going to dismount, and I'm going to I'm just going to uh, stop Swift and just see if I can uh, record that on the screen. Um, maybe I can just analyse some of the data from the ride. So bear with me. If not, just sign off. And uh, remember, rehydrate, get a couple of pints of water down your neck, uh, maybe have a little of something to eat and freshen up. And of course, don't forget to stretch. Stretch your calves, stretch your glutes, stretch your hams, stretch your quads. Do a few lumbar exercises. Good. So it's almost going to be a 50 minutes ride on the rollers. I've got to say that's gone pretty quick. Well, it has for me anyway. A lot of things to concentrate there. And I've got a good session out of it. Because just like you guys, I'm, I'm looking to get fit or keep fit. So the rollers are great, it just keeps, keeps the legs turning nice and fast. I've got to commute home later on, so I've got a nice 18k ride, not too many hills. So I get the miles in, but this on the rollers with a lovely structured training session, I can definitely feel the benefits when I get onto the road. not long to go so as I said guys feel free to tune out I'm just going to dismantle dismantle dismount the bike in a second and I'm just going to check my Strava stats out so but otherwise you guys can dismount freshen yourself up get some fluids in you spot of food give yourself a quick stretch for five ten minutes and hopefully I'll see you on the next video 
please leave a comment please like and share and please subscribe let's share, get this channel out there to lots of other riders that hopefully can benefit from our ever increasing amount of riders rollers training sessions thanks for joining us be safe and I'll see you all soon all right for those of you who are still with me I might just pop in and out of screen so bear with there we go oh, poor iPhone suffered there Okay, so menu. So what do we have here? So um, yeah, we rode 26.1 kilometers. Um, well, what am I looking at here? So ignore, ignore the power distribution. Look at the heart rate uh, distribution. So, um, so we can see, yeah, let's see the different zone, the beats per minute. So yeah, you can see that uh, in between the yellow and, and orange, I was in the higher zones. So an average of 140 beats per minute for, for that duration, which is a good, good CV workout. There you go. So let's, um, yeah, again, ignore the wattage. We're not interested in the watts. It's, uh, but look at my heart rate, you can see that there. Excellent. Anything else to look at? So in the ride, just some stats there from Strava. So 52, almost 52 minutes of, of riding, distance coverage, again, normal, ignore the, the watts. Uh, and there we go. Let's, um, oh, well, I enjoyed that. Let's rate that. Um, what did I listen to while riding or nothing? No music. <laughs> Let's submit that. Thanks for feedback. It's my pleasure, Zwift. Zwift London on rollers for riders, rollers, online training session. There we go. Save and exit. There we am, I'm back. Right guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and all the best. Stay safe. Bye bye.